An introduction to pilot wave theory. It shouldn't come as a surprise that something as strange and ungraspable as quantum mechanics should have many different and competing theories to explain it, such as many worlds, PBR, Copenhagen, and finally, pilot wave theory. That's what this is, an introduction to the so often overlooked pilot wave theory. This theory says that quantum mechanics isn't comprised of particles or waves, but both, combined. Concrete particles with definite locations are guided through space by a wave function dictated by the Schrodinger equation. Changes in the positions of the particles are given by another equation, known as the pilot wave equation. This idea, first presented by de Broglie in 1927 at the Fifth Solvay Conference, was revolutionary. It presents quantum mechanics as not random, but deterministic, as in something which can be calculated based on the initial state. First things first, in order for a quantum interpretation to even be considered, it has to first consider non-locality, as in the ability of objects to somehow know about another state, even when billions of light years apart. But it's explained well using this theory. The path of the particle along a pilot wave depends on the state of other particles along the same wave function. And this particular wave function spans the entire universe. Secondly, the theory must also explain the double slit experiment, where particles somehow behave either like particles or waves, depending on whether they are being observed. Using pilot wave theory, the particles pass through one slit, whereas the pilot wave passes through both. Interference in the pilot waves leads to the observed interference pattern, and an observational tool placed at the slits will collapse the pilot wave and reveal where the electron was all along. However, problems remain. Remember when talking about how objects would instantaneously know the state of another particle on the other side of the universe? Well, that clashes with the theory of special relativity, which says that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, including signals and waves. Although some ideas have been presented to solve this, more is needed to convince the physics community. Furthermore, many content with the idea of shut up and calculate are missed by the added mathematical complexity of this theory. In addition to the standard Schrodinger equation, another one is added, the guiding equation, which is introduced to explain exactly how the wave guides the particle therefore describing the actual state of the particle over time, even when not observed. It renders it, however, less practical than the perfectly well-functioning Copenhagen interpretation. So what need is there for another idea? But this clearly shouldn't be our approach to physics. Richard Feynman has famously stated multiple times that no one really understands quantum mechanics. Should the science community think that simply because the math works, no consideration should be given to our actual understanding of the theory? Easier said than done. And that's why learning about alternative interpretations, no matter their flaws or development, is critical if we are to gain an understanding of our universe. Thank you for listening.